Hello everyone, welcome to Danimal's House. Today we're going to take a look at how I fertilize the grass. I give it a quick shot of nitrogen via an inexpensive option, which is pelletized urea, and I dissolve it in water, put it in the sprayer, and spray it out on the lawn. Let's get started. Here are the items that I'm gonna be using today to give the lawn a quick shot of nitrogen. So first of all, I've got here a bag of urea. This is a 40 pound bag. It's 4600. And essentially what pelletized urea is, is just a highly concentrated nitrogen granule that is probably too much to put on the lawn by itself. If you put 4600 granules out on the lawn, you'd probably burn it. Uh, especially if you're in the dead of uh, kind of summer or high heat situations. So I don't really think that's designed to go straight onto uh, lawns. People use it in farming sometimes, but it's a very inexpensive option compared to like the Scott's Turf Builder and other types of uh, granulated mixes. The basic concept with granulated mix is they're usually a slow release. A slow release means it's gonna get spread out onto the lawn and then with each rain, it's gonna break down a little bit and then eventually you got to reapply after four to six weeks with a granule with liquid spray it's basically the equivalent of a human drinking like a big glass of apple juice you, you have like an instant reaction to it uh, it's you know sending sugar through your veins and if you're the plant you know you're spraying that nitrogen right on the leaf for it to absorb through uh, the the leaf versus the root and it's just a different way to go about giving your plants some food. So what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna have a, I've got a scale, I've got an ice cream pail, I've got a five gallon pail that I'm gonna mix up my fertilizer in and like dissolve it. This is a paint mixer for a drill. I don't know if it's for paint or if it's for grout, like for tiling, but it's basically just in the paint section at the, at the home improvement stores. That's gonna do my mixing for me. I've got a cordless drill, got some hot water, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in the sprayer. I've got a 25 gallon sprayer for the back of the tractor and I'm gonna basically mix up 25 gallons. What I do, okay, you guys gotta figure out your dosage on your own. I have a huge yard. I've got, I've got like four acres worth of grass. I'm not looking to you know, go nuts, but when I wanna green it up nice, basically what I find is for about 20 bucks, I can buy this bag of urea and I take that 40 pounds and I just divide it five ways so eight pounds per batch is what I do in here. And like, like I said, you got to figure that out on your own. If, if you go too heavy, you might burn the grass. If you go too light, you might be wasting time. But I find that it takes me five batches worth of sprayer, uh, like full sprayers to get my entire lawn sprayed. So um, for me, for 20 bucks, greening up the lawn, if I've got a birthday party or you know, other, some other reason where I want to green up the lawn and make it look a little nicer, it's an excellent option for me. So let's get started as to how I'm going to get this all mixed up for you. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pail. I'm going to set it on my scale. I'm going to zero it out. Like I said, I want about eight pounds. So I'm just going to dump this in here. I'm going to wait till I get to eight pounds. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to have a full pail here. If I remember this right from the last time I did it, but um, what I'm going to do Oh, actually, I don't think I'm going to get there. So I've got six pounds right here, and I'm gonna, just going to have to add another two pounds because I can't make it with the full one. So uh, I'm going to take hot water, okay, 100% hot water, and I'm going to fill up my pail about three-quarters of the way full. So I'm just going to wait for this to get hot. Okay, I got hot water. Soft water, hard water, I don't think it matters, but I'm pretty sure I do have soft water going to this spigot in the garage. Uh, but I'm just gonna get this thing filled up to about two thirds to three quarter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that drill to get it mixing. And then I'm gonna bring that urea in there and you'll see it's kind of like melting ice cubes. The, the granules just disappear. After a little while, the granules disappear. So um, basically I'm, I'm pretty much to the point where I'm good here. I'm going to get my drill set up. I'm going to run it in kind of a slow speed. If I go with speed two or three, I find that it kind of like whirlpools and it kind of 
it spills sometimes. So like I said, I got six pounds. So I'm just gonna get this stuff mixing good. And then I'm just gonna pour this in and it's just dissolving it. It kind of turns to a cloudy white at first, but uh, it dissolves pretty fast with the hot water. You can use cold water. It just takes a little longer to dissolve. Um, I'm almost all the way dissolved already with that hot water. I just got a couple granules on top. So I'm just gonna give it a couple more pounds here so that I've got my eight. You know, it's not rocket science. If you're a little over, a little under, you're fine, but you just kinda wanna be consistent uh, with what you're doing with anything. Um, and if you got a system for having one bag cover the whole yard and you put 10 pounds in the first two batches, you're gonna be annoyed at the end when you don't have enough. So uh, I like using the scale versus just estimating. So now I get it going. All that other stuff is already dissolved. Like I said, the hot water does a great job. So then once I get this dissolved, what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my sprayer and then I'm gonna pour this in. So I'm gonna get my sprayer filling up because it takes a little time to get that all filled. And I'm just gonna spray this out. I'm gonna use the hand sprayer around the house where it's uh, areas that are a little bit more delicate that I can't hit with the full boom sprayer. Then once I get those areas around the house, I'm just gonna go with it. Now if I'm not trying to be very picky and I just don't mind being a little loose with it, I'm just gonna hook up the boom and go. A um, couple suggestions for when to spray. It is kind of hard to see your tracks when you spray. I'm just gonna wash this off, hoping it doesn't rust so bad. It's kind of hard to see your tracks on the lawn when, when you go like during the day when the grass is dry. Um, you know, when you cut grass, you can always see where you gotta drive next because you can see where the grass isn't cut. But when you have the grass cut already, it's kind of hard to see where you've driven. So I like to get up in the morning early when there's dew on the grass. And when there's dew on the grass, you can see your tire marks completely easily. And so I kind of like to do that early in the morning, uh, wake up, like if it's in the summertime, it gets light out at like five and I don't work super early so I can get up and I can take care of the yard and usually about two hours. And uh, you know, that just, it works out well for me. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I've got a little bit of water in the tank and I'm just going to stop this. I don't really want to spill a lot of this on my concrete. I don't want to spill. I should probably take care of this like on the gravel, but I just kind of got the camera set up and this is how I'm doing it. Um, I'm usually pretty good at pouring stuff and not spilling because when I was a kid, I used to have to fill up uh, calf bottles and you had to get good at pouring fluid into a small surface and controlling the pail. So, um, you know, I'm trust myself to not spill here, but you gotta remember anytime you're dealing with chemicals, you probably should wear gloves. You probably should, you know, be in a spot where when you spill something, it doesn't wreck whatever it is that that drops on. But basically um, I'm just gonna fill this back up. <clears throat> this is a John Deere sprayer and it has an agitation function. So I'm just gonna turn my pump on so that I'm agitating. <clears throat> um, you can get these things uh, for four wheelers and you can get them where they pull behind the tractor. In this case, it just hangs on the tractor. So we'll get this thing filled up and then we'll get out and we'll spray a little bit. But this is essentially it. I mean, I don't think I need to show you how to spray a lawn. You're just gonna basically try to be equal, try, try to overlap only a little bit. And then uh, this effect will happen almost instantly. Like basically overnight, that grass is gonna have food. And as long as it's got heat and some moisture to work with, that plant's gonna grow. So this is a great quick and easy way uh, to inexpensively fertilize your lawn. Um, like I said, I got like four acres. I'm not about to pay 50 bucks a bag or 60 bucks a bag for a granulated fertilizer, I'd probably use six bags just for my yard. And I'm not about to do that three times a year. Sorry, Scott's and uh, you know other brands, but this is great. If you like the video guys, please click for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Otherwise I'll see you on the next episode of Daniel's House.